Musa versus Games of Planes is definitely going to be a very explosive matchup. Both of these players having a ridiculous, ridiculous punish game. You have to be keeping your eyes peeled at all moments because every single time these two get an opening, it could immediately lead into a kill. And starting things off on Forest Floor, a very neutral stage for these two. It'll be a question as to how things play out. Yeah, two of the best players of their characters. Two of the fastest characters of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but right now, you know, we can see how they're just feeling out each other, feeling out, you know, the neutral, feeling out the connection, uh, and just testing to see if they can get a connection with these hitboxes, right? You know, the moment that the slipstream comes out, Lucef starts to get a lot more addresses, starts to get a lot more opportunities. Game of the Flames in a rough spot, did not get to touch the ground there, just barely missed out on the perfect soul spacing, but did not miss out on that DI. Beautiful stuff to survive there. But meanwhile, Musaf trying to figure out a way how to seal out the stock. 83% on Ori is a perfect position to start looking for those kills as Raster. Oh, that's definitely gotta be a misinput there for Musaf, and it's going to cost him a stock here as Gains and Flames now with the stock lead gonna be looking to run away with this as much as possible. Yeah, you can see Musa fishing for those claps, just trying to get something going. Yeah, I mean, and one of the things that I love to see from Musa, right, you know, is these F tilts in advantage is because the moment that you do land the F tilt, yeah, I remember uh, Musa was telling uh, one of my SoCal rasters that, you know, you can react to the ASDI that people do on the F-Tilt to try to catch that for the clap DI, but Games and Flames does not care about any ASDI, only cares about death, and right now, looking to end Musef's stock, but gets his stock ended in response. Who's controlling center stage and getting the in on the right side? Right now, you can see how Musa is just continually trying to rack up as much damage as possible on the Ori as it gains in flames every single time, every single option covered. The moment that Musa DIs in a single time, Gains of Flames immediately covers it with the Bash. 50% already gonna net a kill on Raster. Yeah, Bash confirms are absolutely brutal against the bird. Mm -hmm. And especially when it's off of the first aerial you DI in on, that is so rough to deal with. But going to be moving on to Jules Vale, an incredibly neutral stage once again. You know, Musaf just trying to slow the pace of the game down, trying to control as much of this as possible while Gains and Flame wants to keep the momentum going to just keep every single hit mattering. And Musaf right now almost able to fully seal out that stock. This could be big for Musa. I know Musa is a big fan of Jules Vale, so... Mm -hmm. I just cannot Adam. catch games oh of players on stage. Oh man, you know, beautiful triangle dash immediately responded to with the up B as Musa looking to speed run this one. Hold on. Game of Flames in a lot of trouble here. Oh my goodness, the eye drifting all the way off the edge. Yeah, I mean, it's such a rough one to DI because you know, DI a little bit further in, you get hit by another one. But Game of the Flames right now looking to try to seal out this stock here. Yusef off stage oh, in oh a lot of trouble. No jumps remaining and no stock except for this final one. Yusef needs to find a way how to end oh. this and clap to do it. Stocks are going everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every single moment is incredibly incredibly important is game of flames and musaf just going back and forth back and forth a single opening could mean disaster for these two oh oh, oh. Right now, you can see Musaf with these dash tags able to get so much mileage. One jab to down tilt means that that clap is going to connect. No sweet spot needed. Game of Flames really didn't want to get nabbed by the sweet spot, but ended up DIing outwards. 
and right now a game number three is on the board what was looking so dominant for games and flames is looking to be a salty run back in game three on jules Vale. you know you always want to try to get as many neutral stages as you can provided that the strong stages are denied musa starting this one off with a huge huge start oh my goodness yeah, you can tell Games of Flames was not happy with the way that last game went. Yeah, but right now you can see Musa able to rack up so much damage, but Games of Flames, as I said earlier, right, has a beautiful punish game that you have to be worried about. And right now Musa is on the verge of, you know, some of these early kills that we've seen from Ori. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a raster trade working out in raster's favor. Yeah, but oh <laughs> baby, immediately traded right back. Nobody is GameStop here. Everyone's a winner. As Musa is able to rack up a lot of damage it's on still games going. once again. And it's still going. Oh, beautiful oh, flat from games. <laughs> and the up tilt to Antier here. Both these just need a single neutral win. A single in. And right now, Games has Musaf off stage. The down strong to send the Raster back off stage could mean a huge amount of damage. A beautiful air dodge once again. Games is so good with these triangle dashes. Thorstrong gonna be able to drag Raster off the side of the stage. Musa still definitely has the opportunity to seal out this stock. Games needs to get as much extra credit as possible. Hold in. Big into the upstrong. Oh my god, and there it is. Games and Flames going to be able to seal that one out in a beautiful salty run back. Gonna work out just fine. The, that's Unwinnable the scary match. thing. <laughs> Unwinnable. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking around. A lot of Ori players don't like the matchup, but that is an incredible showing coming out from Games and Flames. And Musaf, no slouch. That was so, so close.